On Paloma's suggestion, and on second thought, the best idea, I'm gonna make a video about how to make a single cup of coffee. We're assuming there's plenty of beans in here, and there is, and there's plenty of water in here, and there is. But you can always add more to that little hole in the top. It's filtered. Um, and up here are coffee mugs. So we're gonna pull out a coffee mug, any size you want. There's little tiny ones back here. We're gonna hit the power button. This guy right up here, it looks like a power button. Ooh, it makes an awful noise sometimes when it starts up, but what it's gonna do is it's gonna heat the water and then it's going to warm up the pipes. As it grinds and grows. And it's uh, waking up. Oh, this is perfect. Okay, so we get this flashing little light. That means the tray needs to be cleaned. This happens every once in a while, and this doesn't happen all the time, but it's a great thing to demonstrate. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this out. By pulling it out, I can see there's a little tray with the little cups, or the little pucks. Dirty pucks, dirty used up pucks. All right, so we're gonna go over here. We're gonna open the trash can. Oh, this part's easy. And you just dump it all out, dump all the pucks out. There you go. Then come back in here. And this part right here lifts off. See that lifts off, and it's full of water. We're just gonna go ahead and dump that in the sink. Okay. Now, properly, I would clean this all out. I would spray out the gunk from here and everything. But for this purposes, we're just gonna get busy making a cup of coffee. So, put this back in here. This back in here. Just slide it in. Ah, oh, and now we're back. Okay. So. This little guy goes up and down, depending on the size of your cup. Um, I'm gonna do it in this nice big white cup. So, this little dial here, when I press this button in the middle, it goes from little bean, bigger bean, bigger bean, bigger bean, and the best bean, the big bean, the most beans. Everybody wants a strong cup of espresso, so I always leave that there. This one determines the size of the water. So when I spin the knob, it goes from little fill, medium fill, big fill, to the top of a cup, and then this M one, which is custom, and it's actually just a ton of water. It makes more of an Americano, though I make my Americanos in this setting. So this is how I'm gonna do an Americano. Um, in this size cup, it can probably take two shots. Never use the two shot button, that's dumb. Just use the single shot button, you're just gonna make two. So I just hit that button one time, and let the magic happen. Ah. Sweet magic. Now I'm gonna be nice and jazzed up tonight. A little trivia. But for the sake of science and demonstration and education, I'm going to go ahead and enjoy the coffee. Oh, here it comes. Liquid gold. Oh. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, cream on the top. Ooh. See, that's not one that much, you know? You could definitely use a whole other one of them. But let's say you're filling something up and it's, it's too much. You know, you have too much stuff. So if you hit the button again, it's gonna make a new one. But I pretend that that thing's about to overflow. Once it starts pumping, I'll show you what you do. It's very simple. You can stop the flow at any time, I would recommend at least getting the first little pump of delicious caffeine out of it. If I can stop the flow at any time by pressing this, this the one cup button once again, it's just gonna stop it right in the middle of its silly pour. All right, and that's it. Um, Doctor it up as you wish. There are splendos and sweet and lows and real sugar. There's always cream in the fridge, um, but I know that the real people in my life like to take it black. So that's about it. Enjoy.